temporal region, right? Not much in the forehead area, but there are some. And look at this, a lot of hairs in the forehead region. Even, even some of these hairs are reaching into his eyebrows, right? So what this signals to me is that I this like guy it. has the midsection just looked really bare. Yeah, like the, the progress that was made, especially in no time, is phenomenal. So what does this say to you, the person who's watching the video, who's probably thinking, should I even try to get on treatment? The answer should be yes. Give it a try. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, we're going to be looking at Tressless, and this is just one of those examples where just somebody who's having a crazy, crazy good response, likely due to having high sulfuro-transferase enzymatic levels. And we're going to have a look at the pictures now. And this is a very, very basic stack, nothing too complicated. So this is a five month progress, fin one milligram and topical min 5%. Now this isn't going to be the typical response, but for the person who's out there, who's thinking whether or not they should try to get on treatment, maybe this could be you, right? Maybe you have the genetic capacity to get such a fast result and so soon, right? But there also should be some sort of point of caution at least from what I've seen anecdotally, I'll say this, people who get, you know, such a good, quick, fast response, sometime down the line tend to go through a pretty large shutting phase, right? As long as they stick with treatment, or maybe if they, you know, go from finasteride to dutasteride, right? And they don't change too many things about their hair loss stack, they should be able to maintain what they have, or rather improve what they have and regain what they had before. So let's have a look and let's see, uh, let's see what's actually going on. So this is their baseline, right? And they say this in the, uh, the comment or the description box of their post. They say, quote, fifth month progress, fin one milligram, minoxidil 5% twice a day. I used to do microneedling twice a week, but last month, just once a week. From week two, I had a brutal shedding that last almost three months. The first picture is two months after starting fin and min. The second is three months after it's not dandruff, it's the dry min. That's the note that he put in the comment or description box of the Reddit post. So let's go through the photo gallery. So this is the baseline, right? And uh, of course, it's not the best quality picture ever, right? It's kind of blurry. <laughs> it reminds me of the 2012 Instagram filters, right? But you can see here in the midsection, wow, barely any hair. Like, you know, I, I can probably count the strands of hair here. So you can clearly see this, you know, you know, there, an immense amount of scalp in the midsection area, right? And he really looks like he has a Norwood 7 kind of, uh, you know, thing going on where the thick part of his scalp is really along the parietal region of his head. So... You know, what we can say here is that he has a profound amount of hair loss, right? That was his baseline. So moving on onward, you know, better lighting, right? It could still just be the same sort of, you know, picture, same sort of amount of hair loss, right? But it, you know, it admittedly looks a bit more, I guess you can say thicker, right? It looks kind of thicker, even though it's different lighting and different photo conditions overall. The second photo in the photo gallery looks a bit thicker, right? Um, let's have a quick look at the scalp health real quick. Um, looks clear for the most part. Just bits of dandruff here and there. But he did say that was the minoxidil, the dried up minoxidil, so it could be the propylene glycol. Um, and this is the crazy part, right? <laughs> I think, he, what, this is... um three months in or something or or five months in let's check but in any case look look at the improvement that was made in literally no time right honestly this looks like a hair transplant the amount of density that the mid scalp went through the recovery rate was insane right look at this so to just to go in order baseline Maybe this is two months in, three months in, who knows? 
and this is the what I'm assuming is the final result. That is some substantial recovery. Now, he's showing his hairline over here, right? So you can see his hairline there, right? And look at this. What you notice on his forehead is that he has a lot of little hairs growing on his forehead, right? He didn't seem to have that before, or maybe it wasn't as pronounced. So let's go back and compare. Okay, you see that? With this, right? So you can see there's a little bit of hairs in the hairline area, of course, but not many in the forehead region, right? But if you go here, you can start to see that there's a lot. You know, let's go one more. So this is the other side of his temple. I'm assuming this is the left-hand side. Look at that. You can see little hairs sprouting up on the temporal region, right? Not much in the forehead area, but there are some. And look at this. A lot of hairs in the forehead region. Even, even some of these hairs are reaching into his eyebrows, right? So what this signals to me is that this guy has probably high sulfuro-transferase enzymatic activity, right? So what we know from androgenetic alopecia lore and its treatment is that when you use minoxidil, minoxidil has to be converted into the prodrug minoxidil sulfate. And it is a minoxidil sulfate that is the key driver of hair growth, right? And if you don't have enough of that enzyme that converts minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate, this enzyme being the sulfurotransferase enzyme, then you're not going to be a good responder. But if you have an immense amount of that, right, it looks like you'd be a good responder. And this sort of hair growth on the forehead and, you know, probably around his body, we'll look at the comment section soon, that is hypertrichosis, sorry, hypertrichosis. And that just is a good sign that you're going to respond well to treatment. So clearly this guy is a, a very good responder to minoxidil. Now, you know, whether or not he'd get a better response on, let's say, oral minoxidil and oral dutasteride, I mean, maybe that could be the case, right? With oral dutasteride, you're crushing scalp DHT by anywhere between 50 to 80% if you're at 0 0.5 milligram up to 2.5 milligram. And with oral minoxidil, it's said that it's supposed to be more effective. There is some debate in the literature, but it looks like it's more effective because, you know, you're able to kind of get more of that active pharmaceutical ingredient, supposedly, to your hair follicles. So, you know, that's uh, pretty interesting. But at the end of the day, it's the sulforotransferase enzymatic activity um, that kind of determines how good of a, of a responder you'll be to minoxidil, whether topically and even orally. So let's have a look at the comments. So <laughs> you can see a lot of funny comments here. People are, you know, saying congrats and they're kind of, you know, pissed off but happy for him. Um, and, you know, the OP... He mentions over here, his name is Encimado, being the original poster. He said that he just turned 31 in November. Now, the reason why this is important is because even in cases where people have severe hair loss, right? Let's say there were a Norwood, let's say one at age 17, and then at age 20, there were Norwood four, right? Some of these guys, for whatever reason, because the hair loss was so recent, even if severe, but because the hair loss was so recent, right? If they get on medication, for whatever reason, they make very, very good recoveries, right? Sometimes they make a near complete recovery. So this is a factor that goes to say that, okay, you may be losing your hair, but act as soon as you can so you can get the benefits from your treatment. Because the longer you wait, the worse your outcomes are. And if you're able to start as soon as you notice your hair loss or not too, you know, long after, right? And, you know, I'm not going to say you're going to get this guy's response, but you should be getting a decent recovery. Um, but yeah, this definitely, he's not an example of the typical responder. This guy 
as high sulfuric transverse enzymatic activity. Just look at this, for example, right? This was him at five months. Look at the midsection. You can barely tell he ever had androgenetic alopecia. Maybe, you know, along the hairline, but whatever. He can style that up or whatever, right? Like, look at this. The midsection here. Barely any hair. Where he started out, right? Look at that. Where this guy started out, it looked like he had nothing, right? Again, he did have that sort of outline of a of a uh, Norwood 7 around the parietal area. The midsection just looked really bare. Yeah, like the the progress that was made, especially in no time, is phenomenal. So what does this say to you, the person who's watching the video, who's probably thinking, should I even try to get on treatment? The answer should be yes. Give it a try. See how it is for at least a year to a year and a half. I would say, you know, I wouldn't go too crazy on the microneedling kind of thing because microneedling especially if you do it very frequently, like twice a week, like he did, it can cause fibroplasia and then that can lead to scar tissue or fibrosis. And that's not good for a hair follicle. So quite honestly, I would leave the micro needling out unless you're, you know, you're not overdoing it and you're not being too overzealous. Once a week, maybe once every other week is good enough, right? You don't want to introduce any excess bacterium and other micro you know, organisms into your scalp to cause inflammatory issues or other ailments. So I think it's probably best to kind of lay off the microneedling, but definitely the finasteride one milligram and topical minoxidil 5%, those two are like the baseline hair loss treatments that you should at least try out, right? But for some things that are more aggressive and if you really want to kind of, you know, nip it in the bud, so to speak, uh, 0 0.5 milligram detached and maybe even 5 milligram oral minoxidil are some things that people are kind of tending towards these days because of how effective that combination is, right? And maybe alongside of, you know, a topical anti-inflammatory agent that they can use every now and again and a good scalp, you know, maintenance and treatment protocol. But overall, right? The message here is definitely to try. Try, at least try, right? If you don't try, then you're not ever going to know what response you'd get. And you can't freak out about a shed. Again, this guy, you know, because of how good of a response he got, I kind of expect him to shed within a year of this post that he made. So right now it's uh, March 12th, 2025, but he did upload this 10 days ago. Right. So this is around March 2nd. So if he were to shed maybe, you know, March 14th, 2026, right? If he had a huge shed that looks like he's going back in time and he lost his gains, I would kind of caution him or anyone like him who, who is such a hyper responder and responds so soon that it's probably just a treatment shed and they should stick on treatment because eventually, you know, that hair would come back. But in any case, I don't want to, you know, beat on a dead horse here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, all you can do in these circumstances, right guys, is to try. If you don't try, then you won't even know what response you'll get. And if you are trying, then keep on your treatment. And if you have any questions, I do non-medical hair loss consultations where I can go over the literature with you. I can come up with some sort of stack that you can, you know, talk to your doctor about kind of inquire about, and I can also help answer any hair transplant related questions as well, because I'm a nerd and I waste my life on these things. I, I mean, I wouldn't say I waste my life on these things. It's pretty fun as a, you know, a side hobby or whatever, but you know, all those links for contacting me is in the description and you can leave a comment below and yeah, hopefully you guys like these ad hoc kind of reviews, but yeah, in any case, guys, thanks for watching this video. But really, you know, his progress was insane. Like, look, look at this. Like, just look at, just between these two pictures, right? Like, what the heck? Save some hair for the rest of us, man. Like, what, what is this? Anyway, thank you guys. See ya.